Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today would be a quick video and I'll be demonstrating you how you can check whether an user is valid into O365 or not. And if it's valid, then uh, send out some actions or do some actions. And if it's not valid, then uh, pick up some alternate of it. So I'm just taking an example of, uh, I'm just going to share point list. So this is my point of con contact list. For example, like, uh, uh, there are a few items related to report and that uh, report has to be sent out to POC the point of contact persons and there is also a field owner field so if this point of contact person is invalid I mean like uh, for example if a person was there but now it's not with the organization so this uh, SharePoint does keep the data for that person but we if we would like to send out the emails then it would be a failure so that person would not be able to receive the emails so in that case we have to pick this owner so if this person is not valid or not anymore with the organization then the email should be shown sent to the owners only and if the poc point of contact person is there then only the point of point of contact person should be receiving the emails so there's a scenario so for this i'll be creating a flow power automate and that flow would be checking whether this field is valid in the user profiles or not and if it's valid then send out the emails to this person otherwise send it to owner so that's what we are going to do so i'm just going to my power automate and i am creating one instant cloud flow and i'll just do a skip because i'm going to choose the trigger from here item is created or modified and let me just go back to my list so i'll be modifying this item because uh, this person is not anymore with the organization so i'll just uh, give you uh, that check so if i just type in this kk it start appearing in the drop down because i have used it earlier but uh, when you try to resolve it it wouldn't resolve so that means that user is invalid so we are going to just trigger our flow on this one so so that we can uh, Cater both the conditions of so whether the POC person is available or not. I am circling back to my flow and setting up my list. Point of contact list. Now in the next step, I will be using action from user profile search for users. So what it does is like a search based on the applied string. So it can be display name, given name or mail or user principal name. If you click on advanced, so it will limit the number of uh, re uh, records to be returned because it gives an array. For example, if I'm just typing my display name and there are multiple person with that, then I would be getting a array of results in the, in the output of this. So right now I'll just type in my POC e email if that email person exists I mean like would able to search and gives me a positive result then if the email should be sent to this person otherwise in a condition in a else condition I'd be sending out the emails to owners so this would search based on the POC email and in the next step I'll be using the condition and before condition because I would like to read the output of it so I can just simply put the condition just, just to fetch the output. So you can see this value is coming. So I'm just clicking this value so that I can copy it and I'll just go to back my notepad so that I can construct the expression for checking whether this uh, value does contain uh, the, the value of the array which I am getting from the previous uh, step is the length of the array is more than zero so that means that's a positive condition so I'm just removing it and over here I'm just using length for expression if length of my this output is so I'm just clicking ok so it uh, gives me that expression. So if you just go back, you can see it's length and it's comparing length of output of my this expression. So whether if it's having is greater than zero, then that means I got my results from search user action 
and then I'll just simply use send email to that person so I'll just choose the because that POC email address is valid so I'll just add up that POC email address and you can just say subject report updates and you can over here you can just type in something details about the report and if it's not valid then I'll use the same uh, and let me just copy it copy to my clipboard I'll use the same action to send out the email but this time I'll be sending out the email to my owner because this POC email is invalid I'll just remove it and I'll just find out the owner email so that owner email can be picked up so this is how using this search uh, for user action and this condition you can simply manage whether the user is still valid in your environment or not so I'm just going to trigger it I'm just editing the existing record so record is updated I'll just go back to my flow just to see whether it ran or not so it ran successfully and I must be getting an email in the owner field so it because that user was invalid so I got this expression result as false and my this no branch has been picked up so this was a quick check so I possibly very useful while developing some complex flows because you would not would not uh, want to have your emails bounced back with the invalid users so you can have this condition in place so I hope it's uh, useful for you and if you like the video please do drop uh, likes and subscribe to my channel thank you